say? Hey guys, it is Kara. I am back and you're never going to believe it. I forgot to turn the video camera on while I was making these fun crafts. So, I'm not going to remake them, but I'm going to show you how I did it. This one is finished and this is basically a fun centerpiece craft. In a video that I thought I was filming, I told you, there's a couple of things you need. You need to be sure that you have like a takeout box. You can have a holiday takeout box or just a plain one. If you cannot find a takeout box, and again, this is just like one of those Chinese takeout boxes. They come undone just like this. And uh, if you can't find it, then use a bag. Now, what I have stuffed, this is a wooden dowel, and we painted it, this wooden dowel. Hopefully you guys can see that we've painted it. What we've done is we have stuffed our foam ball. Can you see that? This is just a regular foam ball in here. Shoved our wooden dowel after it's been painted down in here as well. And then we close up our container. Then what we do is we basically got flowers from the pack, from all of the other things that we've been making with flowers. And let me tell you, with faux flowers and some paint, you can make a million things. We have shoved them in here all around. Not one side has to be the same. But that's what I've done is I've shoved them in to make different designs on any side. No matter where it stands, it's going to look good. As long as the foam ball that it's attached to is covered. So we have a foam ball on the bottom, we have a foam ball on the top, and we have a wooden dowel that's painted in the center. Now I have a few black beans and I'm going to show you. I have put a few black beans on the bottom of this package just because this is top heavy and this is not. So, and that just evens it out so that it's not going to fall where if I take my hands away. Then what I did is I got all of these great little squiggly eyes at um, this Walmart, just a simple store in their craft section, and I glued them on to different parts. And I want to show you, you can hear the thunder in the background. Ugh, it's heaven. But you can see I glued them on just so that they would look cool sitting in my dining room. Isn't that awesome? So it's just my squiggly centerpiece. It's my crazy googly eye guy that's sitting in the middle of our um, dining room table. And you can, again, set it anyway. Again, you can also use these little bags. If you cannot find a package, use a bag. You can see here, this is one that we're actually in the process of finishing. This is a completely different color. But you can see what we have done to that one as well to get an idea that you can make them any way you want. And we'll put squiggly eyes on this, and I'm actually gonna put little fake worms sticking out of it, just so it's fun. So I wanted to show that. I forgot the video, so I did all of this from scratch to show you, and I forgot to turn it on. So there you go, that's a great idea. Ask me any questions, subscribe to the video. I wanna show you, this dowel is painted like orange glittery, and this dowel is painted purple. So again, you get to paint those any color you want. How much fun. Now. I want you to stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you some cute centerpieces, little candle centerpieces that you can make to put around all of these flower centerpiece, centerpieces that we've been making. I mean, if you take a look, minute, look at all the videos, we have five or six things that you can do with your family that's fun, that gives your house a little fall look. Uh, but again, visit us at facebook.com slash tlfamily. That's for today's living. And facebook.com slash bagholder. They both have loads and loads of information because I love sharing with you. And again, please subscribe, write a comment, let me know you were here, like it. It makes me feel very good and I'll keep doing them. I try to come up with inexpensive, creative ways that you and your kids can build memories together. See you soon.